After this video, you will decide is this game worth playing? Was it worth it to be the crops farmer, the yield cowboy? Or was it just one big waste of time? I'm back. And so is the farmer, but this time he's wearing the golden teeth. Let's dive into the final product of the crops farmer team. Let's round up a whole the story of the crops farmers. And let me give you my final experience, thoughts, and practically everything I need to say. Yeehaw! Thank you for still being a part of this video. This is the BMB Crops Yield Farmer. This time we are farming Binance coins. Now, if you're not familiar with the Crops Farmer, and all the projects that created in the last few months, I suggest you watch my previous videos because I make a video about every and each one of those and I invested in every and each one of those. So I think I could say a few things. Now if you want to invest in any of them after you watch this video and decide this is the game or this is a no-no, in the description there will be links through which you can sign up, support my channel, so that I can get a small percentage of you playing the game. Thank you for that. This is, as I said, the final product. I don't think they will release a new one. We are talking about the Crop Shield Farmer, which is similar to the previous one, almost identical, the BUSD Crop Shield Farmer, which unfortunately ended. More on that in a few seconds. For a detailed explanation of how this miners work, as I said, watch the previous video you got on this one. This is a yield farm, three plants, plan one, plan two, plan three. Depending on your beliefs, how long this project will last, you invest 60 days, 90 days, 200 days. Of course, more days you choose, you will get more ROI. For example, for plan one, 400%, for plan two, 225 and for plan 3 108 percent let me be perfectly clear i chose plan 3 3 percent daily 60 days 180 percent roi why well because i play tricky games not tricky but believe in the longevity of the previous one the busd one got burned lost some money but still believing that this whole game is profitable so invested some BMBs into the plan 3 60 days will it last 60 days I don't know it could but will it last longer than that I'm not so sure about that this is how the yield farmers work now how about to make now some conclusions go quickly through all of them and see what are my experiences maybe this will help you on your journey through this crops farmer Welcome to the Crops Farmer. Yeah, they are the new standard in our adapts. Listen, maybe I will be criticizing to some point this adapts. It is the new standard in our adapts. That is true. But believe it, it's not a scam. The team put up the project that was legitimate and that was good. Did I make some money? Not really. In fact, I lost some money. But sometimes you win sometimes you lose in some miners i won in some i lost as i said the team put up the community is using it it's just a matter of me my fault my strategy and approach to this miner so let's quickly go through each and every one of them to show you how i entered and what was happening first there was the busd crops farmer it was the first one now, the BUSD Crops Farmer, I did not enter at launch, but I was there first week. I invested, and this was by far the most popular and the most, let's say, successful out of all the miners, and it still is. Now, did I ROI? Did I make my money back? No. Why is that? You see, my approach to any of these miners, farmers, was to compound because of that bonus of 40 percent a lot more than i should after i entered the busd crops farmer i compounded for one month and by doing that i did not harvest four times 
that I should. Just one. After that I saw that this kind of approach won't work and started harvested a little more. But the month passed. So I'm not close to RI and the journey to that target is now undergoing. I think this is a good project. Nonetheless, the USD crops farmer for me is somewhere in between. What came next was the USDC crops farmer. On the Avalanche network, mining, farming, USDC coin. Now, if you want to know more about any of these miners that we are mentioning today, watch the videos I got. Every and each one of them covered on my channel, Cryptosource. You are here, so you know. And if you want to invest after this video, one more time I'm saying, in the description there are links through which you can go and invest to support my channel. Thank you for that. USDC Crops Farmer, I will show you now, is my favorite one. Why? Because this is the only one that I ROI'd. This is the only one that I get my money back. On this one, I participated right at the launch in the first minute. So I will contribute that. Among other factors, this is one of the most important ones. This is the game for early investors. Not all the time you will be guaranteed to get your money back being at the launch, but it is a contributing factor. So USDC will have my thumbs up, I made my money back, and now I'm on the journey to take some profits, where frankly to cover the losses from the all the other ones. Because let me spoil some things, this is the only one that I got my money back, and that is heading to the profit. The strategy was the same as with the BUSD crops farmer, compounding for about a month and now going on something like weekly harvesting. You see, somewhere on that journey I discovered that this will not be so long-term game that I projected at the beginning of this project. Now there is not to say that they will not succeed in the long run. For now we don't see the ignition of that new wave the cycle that could be coming like the baked beans had. But that is the topic for well, let's say another video. Moving on. The BNB crops farmer. Yep, I invested in that on the launch. Did I get my money back? No, I did not. Will I be doing that? Well, I'm on the path. It's not that bad. I made about, as with BUSD, somewhere on the line more than half of it. So there is a slight chance for me to do so. But here, I was at the launch, but the strategy as at the previous two was not suitable. I should have, and if you are watching this video, notice should have harvested more to get the optimal results. Just because I didn't ROI doesn't mean that you will not, or that many before you already did. This is the game. We are playing against other players. I played, uh, I would say badly, but the learning experience is here. If I decide to go into another DeFi journey, I will know pretty well how to place my bets. And now, the FTM crops farmer. It came next. It was beyond the grave. The dead were walking among us livings. And I must say, the FTM crops farmer, for now, is the biggest disappointment above them all. Of course I didn't make my money back. Not even half of it. Long way even to death level i made something like fourth of my invested phantoms so yeah this was not a profitable game for me playing beyond the grave and as you can see the strategy was the same not as you can see because i'm not showing you anything but this stupid man with a stupid hat and the stupid eyes and the stupid smile and the ftm cross farmer just kidding strategy one month compounding now turning to weekly but unfortunately the TVL is now almost gone, so for this one I will not get my money back, and that's for sure. You win some, you lose some. In this case, you lose more, but it is what it is, a school of learning experience. Thank you crops farmers for learning me something new. And then a completely different animal came. Not a miner, but a farm, BUSD crop seal farm. Now from a certain angle this looked pretty safe. But I was a student one more time, I lost some money. 
returned about, I don't know, 60% or something like that, 50. Why? Because I played by my own rules and started investing chunks and chunks thinking that this project will last a long time. Unfortunately, I didn't know that farm had an expiration date and the contract completed. The TVL went to zero way too soon, according to my calculation, which was long, long into the future. As I said, I was a student of the game. I didn't play well. As you can see, all of the funds were distributed according to the pre-programmed algorithm. There is zero in the contract deposits, so like all good things, this farmer has come to an end. If you lost some money like me on this one, well, think about it this way. Now you know how the farms work. You paid a tuition for the future interactions with DeFi space, right? And of course, here we are, BNB Crop Seal Farmer, the latest product, exactly the same as the previous one, as I already mentioned. Now, as that one was lasting about 40 days, but that's according to the first plan that was lasting about 40 days, this one's first plan is having 60 days, so you can expect around two months to last. That's not a definitive answer, because new money could come in, but you should keep inside of your reserve in the head that all good things as they are saying are coming to an end and if you had your golden teeth you have them if you have your own crude teeth well i'm sorry about that DeFi space is pretty cruel not forgiving for those that are newcomers i'm not newcomer to the crypto absolutely not i'm in this for a few years but i was introduced to these miners by a friend and this year only this year started to learn how this work. Now, what's the conclusion of all of this? Can you make money? Is it worth playing? The answer is yes. Did I make money? No. Globally, I lost. But that's because I was a bad player. Not bad, but inexperienced one. The guys in the Telegram community know that I like to bitch about losing money, about that about this but you know at some point you accept your fate you know that the team put up nice product you know that you play the game to some extent wrong and you know that if you did two things entering early and playing the right strategy you would win it's that simple now i entered early i was at the launch of every and each one of them except of the first one which was it first week but my strategy was not so good. I compounded way too much, harvesting way too little, with some perspective of longevity in mind. One more time I'm saying, as they are stating, all the good things are coming to an end, and you should have always that backup plan, because nothing is guaranteed in any case. If you decided, based on this experience, that it is worth investing, well, in the description one more time enter through my referral links i will get a small portion thank you for that i wish you good luck in this farm which could be holding for quite some time and if you get another burst another cycle to the upside i will suggest you to watch this video which is about the busd crop seed farmer at that point i had roughly different perspective and different dreams check it out and I'll see you in that one.